Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and I'm here with my daughter, Chelsea Stratton. And we are going to share with you a little bit about our upcoming book, Home for the Holidays, Quilts and More to Welcome This Season. This has been a really fun project that we did together. We started talking about it a couple years ago on the airplane, remember that? Oh, I do. <laughs> Coming home from Quilt Market, I was putting notes in my phone, and it finally is... It, Come to fruition. <laughs> yes. And it's going to be out in the world. It's going to be available in June. You can actually pre-order now, but we want to walk you through the projects and just let you know what is in store for you when this book is available. Okay, so we're just going to actually flip through the pages of the book and we will actually pop up some pictures so you can get an even better look. And I'll talk about my projects and Chelsea will talk about her projects. And we just really hope you love uh, seeing the projects. Front cover is gorgeous. And I'll put like it that, that way so you can see it. And the back cover gives you a little preview of some of our projects too. The photography was just wonderful for this book. Just wonderful. And actually, Chelsea and I did the food photography. For we <laughs> did. <laughs> <Because> we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are some recipes in here. So. And that's a fun bonus we wanted to add. Just a personal touch to this book. There's some recipes. There's some family stories. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, introduction gives you just kind of all the background on how, why we wanted to do this Christmas book together. Okay, so the first project in the book is actually the cover quilt, the Christmas Eve lap quilt. I use the Christmas collection by Lella Boutique called Christmas Morning for this one. It's just a really fun star block and quilt. And you'll have a lot of leftovers that you can use um, to make the half square triangles for this pillow sham that I did with the same coordinating collection. So the Waiting for Santa pillow is another fun project. And then you will also see that there's a little mug rug <laughs> left over. Uh, one thing that's really fun is that when it's my project, Chelsea gives a little note about it. And when it's Chelsea's project, I give a little my thoughts on it. Next up is Peppermint Twist, and I had the idea for this quilt for quite a while. I love, I've always wanted to do a plus block quilt pattern, and I just love the little twist blocks, and I just think it's so cute. And I actually used reds and greens from our previous Summer Sweet collection, and I love how they give that fun little Christmas look. Yeah, and the next project is Chelsea's as well. It's the Christmas Star Pillow. I really wanted to design a pillow for this, and it is a fun tree block with a Christmas star and just the cutest little pillow that I hope that you enjoy making. Yeah, and I love these basic gray fabrics that you Yes, use. that basic gray holiday collection was adorable. So the next project is the Crystal Sky uh, Table Mates, which includes a runner and some coasters. And this is a collection by Ann Sutton of Bunny Hill Designs. And I, I you know, sometimes I, this is one of those projects that can kind of stay in the holidays if you like to de decorate with the blues, but it also goes really well into January with these colors. Uh, and just a gorgeous table runner and coasters. Uh, first recipe in the book comes right here, and it's our family favorite sugar cookie recipe. <laughs> and yes, that uh, photography, you probably won't be able to see it till you get the book, but we took that picture ourselves. Chelsea took it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really fun day, and we got to eat a lot of our favorite treats very early. So yeah, this next quilt is one of my absolute favorites. It's called Amaryllis, inspired by one of my favorite um, flowers. And I absolutely love this block. It's very patchwork, vintage with stars. Such a fun make. I know that I hope everyone loves making it as much as I did. And I used Sweetwater's holiday collection, and it just turned out so gorgeous. Yeah, I think it Red Barn Christmas. Is that yes. what it was called? Okay. Yeah. I, that has to be one of my favorites. When Chelsea showed me that design, I just ood and odd over it. I just really, really love it. They did great photography for it too. Really shows off the whole quilt. Yeah. And then it can't be a book of mine, I guess, without a grandmother's flower garden project. So I use some fig not. tree. <laughs> yeah. So fig tree fabrics uh, for the Christmas flowers table runner. 
and just just love that little project you'll find the next recipe comes after this book for our family favorite raspberry jello salad yes a favorite <laughs> The next quilt I used with, des I designed it using fabrics from me and my sister, their fun holiday collection. And this quilt is called Mistletoe. And I love that bear, pa that bear paw block. And it's just a lot of fun to make and super simple and super fun. Yeah, I love this one too. I love, uh, you'll notice that there's a lot of close up pictures of the quilting, which is really fun to see as well. Uh, for the next couple of projects, we actually had a bundle of Lisa Bonjean's farmhouse flannel fabric, and we split the bundle. So we each took, you know, half of the flannels and to make projects. And I did a farmhouse flannel quilt that is perfect for maybe the men in your life or just a cozy <laughs> couch quilt. I was going to say, I'm going to use that to cozy up on the couch. Yeah, it, it does, I feel, have like a more masculine look. Yes, but yes definitely. Anybody can use this. And it's a great scrappy pattern for you to use. We have our family Christmas morning casserole that is Billy's favorite here <laughs> recipe in the book. And then Chelsea made... It, it is so cute. Yes. <laughs> it's the Scrappy Stripes flannel pillow to go with the flannel quilt. Uh, that mom designed and it's just perfect it's the per it's perfect to throw on a couch or on a bench and it's so soft I love that about it yeah but it's perfect and just super simple to make and an easy way to use that flannel yeah and it was funny because we didn't really talk about it but it was fun afterwards to see that she made the pillow that went with the quill yeah so. the next project is my ornamental table topper and I also designed this using Christmas Morning by Lella Boutique. And it's just, I love having a table topper, different ways to use Christmas fabrics uh, projects throughout your home during the holiday season. So this is perfect for on top of a coffee table or just a, a, dinner, a dinner table, just perfect for that. Yeah, and it would also make a fun pillow too. It big, would actually. Giant couch pillow. Yeah. So. Oh, I love this one. Oh, thanks. Uh, we couldn't have a Christmas book without having a classic tree skirt pattern. And I just wanted to do simple squares. I also used the Red Barn Christmas fabric for this. It was really funny because the binding was something I'd had in my stash forever from an old Moda collection by Sandy Gervais. But just a really fun Christmas tree skirt that you'll be able to make and uh, tip, you know, get it quilted before... You cut it and that makes it so much easier to for your quilter. <laughs> <laughs> the next project is also really special to me. It's called poinsettia and there are beautiful poinsettia flowers and patchwork in this quilt. And mom used to get poinsettias. She always does gets poinsettias and I just love this project. I think the flowers are so pretty and just one of my favorites. And I also used the basic gray collection for this quilt as well yeah and just at the end of the book we have some uh, Christmas traditions uh, some pictures from both of our homes uh, you know we talk about Christmas projects we have also decided to do a sew along uh, really similar to the sew along that I did with my labor of love book we will be making a sampler quilt using one block from 12 of the projects in this book and we'll actually pop up a digital image of that quilt for you on the screen now my version is the one that you'll be seeing it's going to be pieced in emma fabrics chelsea is going to do a christmas version using just the reds and greens and grays, and grays yep from emma and we will be starting that sew along in the fall after Emma fabric is available. Yes. So get your books now. You'll need the book for the sew along. And we will have free PDF patterns to help you to make the sampler quilt. Yes. And you'll still need the book to make the blocks. Right. And we'll do some videos as well yeah. to guide you through that so you don't have to worry. Also, there will be an option if you don't want to make the grandmother's flower garden block for the sampler. So... Yeah, we're really excited about that sampler coming up in the fall. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed seeing the beautiful <laughs> photography of our projects from our Home for the Holidays Christmas book. And we'll have all the links and all the information that you need in the description below. 
one thing if you like to get your books on Amazon we would love it if you would pre-order it that really helps books uh, move up in the rankings and get shown to other people so if you already know you're going to purchase on Amazon we would just really appreciate that pre-order and we have the other options for you listed as well if you enjoyed today's video please hit the like button subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and share this video with a friend thanks so much for stopping by